I wish I could play it better. <laughs> it wasn't a, a, a happy childhood as, as, as I look at it now, but at that time, I mean, I knew nothing better. Yeah. You know, that was what I was getting, and I thought, well, that's what life is all about. But now, having gone and, and, and seen things, you know, growing up without your father and without your mother, and, uh, you know, no clothes, no food sometimes, and, and, and all of that. It, w it was a hard thing. I mean, as it was a very poor uh, situation. You know, it was very poor. But, I mean, I grew up, 
you know, because of my grandmother. Because I know sometimes she would, uh, she would go, you know, without food. She would go on without food for like three days or something, but she would always make sure that uh, I get something to eat. I was the only one that, I mean, she was responsible for at that time. But as I grew up, there were like other kids that, that came in because the thing with my grandmother is that she, she accept everybody. But I mean, each time I come here, it's, it's like, um, you know, when I'm um, rejuvenated, you know, seeing her all the time. I, I just feel very happy that she's, um, she's still around and uh, I can still come to her and talk to her and all that. But, you know, this is where um, everything started. I was born here and I grew up here and um, this is where everything started happening. Because I wanted to take her away so she comes and lives with me, so I take care of her and all of that, like she took care of me when I was young. But uh, she just doesn't want to go. She just doesn't want to go here. She loves this place, and she loves every little piece of thing you see here. song thing came up I mean it was uh, I thought it's a it's a it's a good thing first like to get musicians together and um, and of course with the mission of getting people aware of AIDS you know because it is there you know we 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 we, we know it's there and um, so we, we it's as, as musician, we are there to educate and entertain. So this is also part of education. So we have to ent educate people about this AIDS. And so when this opportunity came and when I was invited to do some work on this, I said, well, I'm game. And um, we, did, we, we did the whole thing. And it was just great to see musicians working together like that. This one is called, no matter how hard they can try, but nobody can stop reggae because reggae is strong! Lucky Duve is a Rastafarian, depending, of course, on, you know, how you look at it. Because some people say a Rastafarian is one who plays reggae, one who has dreadlocks, and one who smokes ganja. But according to my knowledge, according to my belief, that's not what Rastafarianism is, you know. Because there's a lot of people out there who smoke ganja, but who are not Rastafarians. My grandfather used to smoke ganja a lot. I mean, a lot of ganja was growing everywhere. They would smoke it before the, 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 the before the cigarettes and the, boxers and things came.